Okay, hi guys. Today, I'm gonna to make some tomato and lentil soup for you. Fairly simple recipe, very warming and good for the winter months that are coming up. Now, in the pan here, I have some olive oil, yeah? Nice and hot. And here, we have white onion, a small white onion, and two stalks of celery. So I'm just going to put them in and get them frying away. Now, this is only our second video, so please ex excuse any mistakes. Excuse the rubbish editing. My apologies. Uh, but if you do like the video, if it is instructive, it's helpful, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Free and easy to do. And it sticks my numbers up and helps us along here. Okay, so we've got these in here. And we're going to cook them for a little while before we take in the rest of these ingredients. But I'll run through the ingredients for you so you know what they are. So we have a bay leaf, yeah, one bay leaf, three or four cloves of garlic, about a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we'll soften these up a little bit. Now it's time to add our other ingredients. One bay leaf, yeah, one bay leaf. Here we have three, maybe four cloves of garlic. To your own taste, huh? some people don't like garlic, I like garlic. Okay, to that, about a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon ground black pepper, teaspoon brown sugar. Okay. So yeah, I'm just want to get that. We just want to get the garlic warm. Don't want to cook the garlic at this point in time. Garlic's very easy to burn and if you burn it at this stage it gives a bad taste. So, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I know other people do it differently. This is my recipe. I get to see what we do. So now to this, there's a couple things going to add. Yeah. So obviously, the first thing is the lentils. Okay. So we've got everything in. Stir, turn the heat back up again, and uh, just bring this up to a boil. Once we get there, we'll turn it down and uh, put it on a simmer. Now, I'm going to add one of these stock cube. I don't have stock, but instead of water, we could have added stock. I do have a stock cube. Be careful, they're salty. Yeah, they're very salty. Some more than others, so one's enough. One's enough. Okay, we've got that one. Let me stop. Once we get up to the boil, I'm going to let it go for about 20 30 minutes. And we're going to add our carrots. And uh, then we'll let it go. Okay, so we've had the uh, soup simmer away here for about 20 minutes. You can see the uh, lentils starting to soften up. You can test lentils. Squidge it, and you see it's starting to break up, yeah? Not as soft as you want, yeah? The longer you cook this, at this stage, the better it tastes. You get all the flavours infusing and it just makes for a bit of soup, yeah. You can make this in 35, 45 minutes, yeah. For me, the longer the better. An hour, two hours, three hours, 
however long you want. Yeah, store it overnight. Make it make it night time, and then leave it. Stick it in the fridge overnight. Beautiful next day, or even next dinner time. You know. So I'm just going to add the carrots now. So there's about I would say about a quarter of a large carrot, and all I've done is grated it. Yeah. Just add a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of colour. I added a little bit of water while it was simmering because it was getting quite low. The, uh, the, the, the rule of thumb really is... <coughs> so we are about two hours now into the cook since I last put this on and let it simmer. We are about an hour and a half, 90 minutes, yeah. So you can see we very soft, lentils are soft, but they still have substance, yeah? They're not broken down and got in that creamy way that we can do in a good lentil soup. And I'll show you that another day with a really, really good lentil soup, which is really just creamy. Um, but lentils here still have substance, yeah? They still have their form, but they're soft, yeah? So, I find a quick taste couple of things I want to change, yeah, or add to. I wish my wife was here, but she's busy. She's a queen of the taste buds. For me, it still requires half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of brown sugar, yeah. It just needs more season at this moment in time. Also, this is Thai lime, yeah? Thai lime. Any lime will do, but this is Thai lime, yeah? This is when we go in our garden. So, just the smallest piece, yeah, of Thai lime. Just the juice, yeah? But some, I mean, that's no more than half a teaspoon. But this is no the buying the, uh, <laughs> the the exciting ingredient, yeah. The, the most exciting ingredient, yeah. We're going to add, and and then the short ingredient we're going to add is this one, yeah. And we're just going to put this in the last minute and cook it for thirty seconds, one minute, yeah. And this is the stuff. Garam masala, Indian, yeah. Uh, this ain't going to taste Indian in here, and it's just going to bring all the flavours together. They're going to give that extra spice and that extra feel in the mouth, yeah. So, pop that in. That's about half a teaspoon full, yeah. Again, regulate. I'll turn it a little bit just to, to get it bubbling. Cook these off a little bit. Let's the lid off. So we've added the bomb ingredient. To turn the heat out a bit. Just get it piping hot. Yeah. It's good to go, man. It's good to go. Off. If you want this more tomato -y, add some tomato puree. If you want it more Indian, you could add coriander, cumin, make it a little bit more yellow. Don't add too much cumin, it can get better. So you see, that's two, three. Good servings, yeah. Now, to garnish it, from celery leaves, yeah, a lot of flavour in them. 
to waste them to throw them away use them enjoy that yeah if you enjoy please click subscribe hit the notification bell see you again next time